okay uh, so this one is our last video where i'm going to tell you that uh, how we can redirect our user on the same dashboard right on the same dashboard and with the multiple uh, logic like administrator logic user logic supervisor logic so just to build this dashboard dot uh, dashboard dot blade dot php okay so uh, i am I am admin okay just copy this and then I am supervisor okay I am user right so now I have these three ones and here I want to now if I close this one and open the I think I need to create another um, home page yes this one is created for you uh, created for us and then dashboard and here i want to access this simple dashboard right this one so this one is simple dashboard let's get refresh and yes i'm getting this i am admin and this let me separate them on the newer uh, on the newer line uh, here i'm going to use a br br okay or two separate lines and then save this one let's get refresh and yes i'm admin i'm uh, supervisor and i'm user so now three types of user are accessing the same web page how we can show them specific information if they are authorized for example now we are logged in as a simple user so we don't want to show the supervisor and administrator things so how we can validate those things so here we are going to make sure that uh, what is our user role so i'm going to write to uh, if here and then check that if user is logged in we can check that or we can skip this because we are validating this here that uh, user is logged in or not using this auth middleware which is by default edit in the laravel right okay uh, so here i'm going to check that if uh, user role if user role equal equal admin right so then i want to access this piece of this one right otherwise i don't want to access this and check the another logic that to um, if auth user right and then role would be the supervisor supervisor okay then i want to access this kind of uh, information otherwise i want to access only this right and then after that i need to end if and if okay fine save this one and let's get refresh and yes i am user so now i am able to only visit the uh, visit the only user information so if i change here the role of user to supervisor supervisor let's get refresh and i'm supervisor i'm able to only access the supervisor detail right if i go here and check that only administrator right so um, here i'm going to change the admin let's get refresh and yes i'm admin so now admin is only see the admin information user is only see the user information and the uh, supervisor is only see the supervisor information so in this way you can separate those functionalities uh, from the uh, from the single blade right and in the same case if you want to access for example uh, administrator to all of the functionality like you want to access the administrator to the supervisor uh, feature so you can say that if the user is supervisor or admin so he can access this uh, uh, supervisor information too or uh, here we implemented this else so that's why it's not able to um, um, be only two, thi uh, two things so now this will execute the both condition ah syntax error okay 
if and uh, here I have implemented that uh, uh, if I need to end this if and something like this and if and then if and then now fine I am admin I am supervisor right okay still you can implement here else if to um, uh, show that uh, this one would be the if you want to apply any condition here you can implement the if condition or else uh, else if condition to show the if you want to show the user information to this administrator so how you will do this so now the role is supervisor not the administrator uh, administrator okay administrator and supervisor thing now if I want to do this for this one so you can also do this same and then you need to and if and then this would be the role would be user or admin so then you want to implement it. so here we have written a separate uh, if else we written this separate if else separate if else see yeah. oh, sorry right okay right and yes now administrator is able to access all of the users information right uh, but if I choose here the role of user so let's get refresh and user is only see his information but right? if I change this to the supervisor so the result will be identical right so let's get refresh and supervisor is only see the supervisor information so in this way you can validate your user based on their role so hope this um, give you the clarity that how you can authenticate your user in the Laravel and if you like the whole series share your feedback in the very first video or this video to help the other that this uh, this series will teach them that how they can authenticate their users in the Laravel so thank you so much for watching the full series and I'll meet you in the next course bye bye